I did the I did the first step of building up my own computer. Uh, pretty much, I'm going off of this breadboard uh, 6502 computer kit, and that chip, the 6502, is what you find in a lot of computers from the, the late 70s to the 80s, like Atari, Nintendo. Um, what else was it in? The Apple IIs. So uh, Ben Eater has some pretty cool videos that show you how to build this up. I've finished watching and assembling the kit from his first video where you just have a CPU um, that is able to ask for an address, uh, ask for memory at an address and execute it. So I can reset the CPU and I can watch this. Actually, let me turn on the clock. There we go. So the clock's actually giving the CPU time to do, uh, not time to do cycles, but it's actually uh, telling it when a cycle begins. And this represents the, the current address that the CPU is asking for data about. And uh, basically this looks like a binary counter in a way. You can see the, well, in, in essentially the way it's set up right now, it actually is. I can reset the CPU and it just does a lot of funny stuff on there before it starts doing the um, the binary counter stuff again. So uh, that's been fun. You can see I have a lot of wires here. Um, the CPU uses 16 wires to uh, to request data on a specific address. So right here, these first eight wires are hooked into the the LEDs but you can see all the wires go into the Arduino Mega here. So uh, this is 16 wires and these are 8 wires. When you talk about 8-bit computers, it's more or less uh, there are 8 bits of data going on or off uh, along the bus. So I'm able to read that bus using my Arduino, which is a microcontroller you can pick up at a lot of uh, electronic stores or whatnot. Right now the CPU is constantly asking for um, data on all these different addresses, but I have hardwired it to only get a specific number, and this translates in hex to uh, the letter E and the letter A, so it's EA. And when I go and look at this on the computer, I have a program running that shows me the first 16 digits show me which uh, signals are on and off. So that's the address it's asking for data. You can see it's going up in binary. And then the second set are eight digits that are the data on the bus. And they don't change, they're always the same. And that translates here to EA. You can see this is the hex value of the uh, address and that keeps going up. And it's always a read operation. So that's been a lot of fun. Um, this clock kit was a separate kit that I made the other night, mainly for debugging. I, I can speed things up. You can see down there that it's going really fast when I speed it up, or I can slow it down. <laughs> and you can see the 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 pulse, or I call this pretty much the heartbeat of the computer. Otherwise the computer's not gonna do anything. And then I can also switch this over and give the CPU manually one cycle at a time and I can watch that go up. So, so it usually takes two cycles for the next digit to show up. There we go. And basically the EA hex value is an operation code that says do nothing. So the CPU is constantly uh, asking, what should I do when I'm at this address? And I keep telling it, just do nothing. Do nothing, do nothing, do nothing. Do I have to repeat myself? I'll keep repeating myself. Do nothing! So, fun stuff. I built the computer. <laughs>